The most common type of business on earth is a micro business. We know surprisingly little about the lives of micro entrepreneurs. What we do know is that most are doomed to lives of poverty. So the premise of the research is to better understand the lives of these micro entrepreneurs and specifically target a major constraint that these micro entrepreneurs face, which is a lack of access to skills. The research was done with Business Bridge, an NGO in South Africa, and was co-authored with Stephen Anderson McDonald and Bilal Zia. The study was done in five locations in the Cape Town area in, in South Africa, and these included township locations such as Kailicha and Philippi, as well as some locations in the central business district. Our researchers went door to door and visited 10,000 entrepreneurs and identified businesses um, who fit two criteria. One, they had an aspiration to grow, and two, they had some capability to grow. We um, whittled that number down to about a thousand businesses who formed the core group that we studied for 18 months. We invited these entrepreneurs to be part of a lottery where they had a one-third chance of getting a scholarship for a business training skills program. So one group one third got the marketing skills intervention, one group got the finance and accounting skills intervention, and a third group was a control group that w did not get the intervention until after the study was completed in 18 months. Those who got the marketing intervention and therefore thought like marketers tended to go into a growth mindset. Sales were about twice as high. The number of employees hired was on average one up more employee in the marketing group. Now those in the finance group employed roughly half, 0.5 additional employees relative to the control group. Finance skills, it turns out, seems to take people into an efficiency mindset. They cut costs, they put product lines, they become more efficient, and they achieve the same levels of profits, but without hiring as many people. The good news is that overall, our findings suggest that business skills do matter and they can have a pretty substantial effect. So the, a contribution of this research is to show uh, not only the effects of businesses in general, but also how the paths of these businesses may vary depending on the kinds of business skills they receive. The results from this study are quite relevant to small businesses as well as big business, because uh, big business should care uh, in investing in skills for their distributors, for example and the kinds of skills they offer might have an impact on um, not only how well they do, but how they get to that uh, position of uh, greater prosperity. As a follow-up to this project, the Western Cape government has funded additional um, skills training for entrepreneurs in the townships. Um, uh, it's of interest not only in South African townships, but any place that has micro-entrepreneurs.